Wow. What is this? Oh my gosh. Pull and drag. Who knew these were even in here? What's going on folks? My name is Josh. You guys are watching The Outdoor Dude. It has been a while since I've made a video. Thanks for coming back to the channel. We're gonna be explaining what the heck's been going on, where have I been, why have we not been uploading. Get that all out of the way. We're gonna get in some fishing and talk about a new program. Carl's Bait and Tackle has coming up. Let's go. Bam. Look at that big mama jamma, folks. All right, guys, we are back, and today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box, Carl's Bait and Tackle, and we'll get more into that later in the video. All right, so we have been gone for a while. I say we as in me. I, Josh, the outdoor dude, I have been gone for a while. There are a ton of carp in this creek right here. It's crazy how many carp are in here right now. Anyway, squirrel, getting sidetracked. Guys, I've been gone for a while, and that is because somebody crashed into my wife head on and totaled our only video vehicle. Now this person has not responded to any insurance phone calls, any phone calls from the police, anything like that. It has taken quite some time because they were evading and dodging the whole situation. Come to find out the driver had been driving without a license. They have arrested this person. We're finally finalizing some of the stuff going on with my vehicle. I either have not had reliable transportation through this whole thing or I've had a vehicle that I'm borrowing from my brother and I'm trying to keep the miles down. Costing me a lot in gas when I was borrowing his bigger V8 vehicle. Now I got it's small vehicle but still it's just it's a pain in the butt trying to fit all my fishing gear into a two-seater convertible it's just been really tough i've been, kind of been down and out and just really bumming so i recently got some good news that woman is being arrested their insurance is finally going to cover everything and we are going to get back i could not be more excited guys we've got some hunting videos and stuff like that coming up i'm trying to plan some trips to florida maybe do some fishing this winter it's not going to work out too well for me up here i do not ice fish here in upstate new york i'm going to be trying to make something happen in that regard for now let's get into some fishing in today's video i found a brand new pond to me i've heard there's fish in it didn't know if i was allowed to fish there saw some people recently fishing there and i figured why not let's give it a whirl check out today's video pond fishing guggen baits catch co baits hope you like it oh wow decent sized pond it's not huge but I've seen people fish in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to fish here or what the deal is, but we're gonna try to catch a couple. Let's throw a spinnerbait and see what happens. See if we can get us a bite in this pond we have never been in before. It's got a smell to it. It's like a, I don't know, can't describe it. Maybe we might be taking off and going somewhere else. Ooh. Wonder if there's any bass in here. Let's just run this bank right in the shallow. Oh, I got a fish. Holy shoot. That's a decent one. Wow. I didn't anticipate that. That's a decent little bass there. Oh no. It's got a hook or something in its belly. It's passing through. I don't want to pull that out. I want to let it naturally. I'm going to let that thing naturally work its way out. But. Got a little bit of an issue. But that's a decent fish. Cool. Let's put that fish back. Yes. Okay. All right, buddy. Go on back. There you go. Thanks for the fight, dude. Quality fish. Holy crap. I really didn't think that was going to happen. Passed this pond all the time on my way to fish other places, and I had no idea. No idea. It was like a light hit too. Thing just loaded right up. It's a bummer that fish had like a swivel. That was a decent sized swivel hanging out of that fish. 
almost positive there's a hook at the end of it and I want to let that thing naturally work its way out I don't want I don't want to pull on it you know you can end up hurting the fish so part of that hook might be left inside wow oh my gosh pull and drag we're gonna need our bag for this one folks what is this who knew these were even in here Oh, I threw my bait. Did you guys see that? That's the best way to get those off. All right, folks, we are back. Now, y'all see what that Northern did to this bait? Look at that. Chewed it up, but this thing's still in good shape. There's good fish in here. Who knew? I can tell you right now, I did not. I did not anticipate to think there'd be Northern pike in here. That was a good size Northern too. I wonder how deep this pond is, man. It was a lot higher like a week ago. We have been getting a ton of rain. Decent bass, big northern. What else can we get? This has been pretty cool so far. Definitely put this on my list of places to fish in the spring. Ooh. You're coming up on shore, buddy. Yes! Calm it down. Got him. There we go. We got two. Lost a northern. That's a fat belly on that little guy. All right. Thank you, little fishy. Thank you. He was under that bush. All right, guys, I'm gonna briefly interrupt this video to tell you quickly about the sponsor of this video, Carl's Bait and Tackle. They're doing their first ever Carl's Member Week from October 12th to October 18th. All members will get access to a $10 future credit on all orders over $50. You will also get a free gift with each purchase. Exclusive access to the Yee Yee Filthy Frog debuting very soon. There will also be a tackle insurance contest and a site-wide scavenger hunt. Now, these perks are only available to Carl's Club members, but good news to you guys, you can sign up for the Carl's Club Membership free trial right now and get immediate access to those Carl's Club Membership Week perks. So what are you guys waiting for? Sign up for the Carl's Club Membership free trial right now and get yourself hooked up with some sweet Carl's Club swag and baits and all sorts of the other stuff they offer on the premier online fishing tackle website. Back to the video. Bam. All right, folks, we are back bass fishing a new to me pond. Didn't think I was allowed to fish here until I saw somebody here fishing with their kid recently. We came here last night, caught a couple fish, lost a northern, pretty dingy water, tons of grass. Coming today with a different approach. We're going to try to flip a black and blue trench hog by the Guggen squad, Guggen Baits. Um, got a, I think I uh, got a quarter ounce, quarter ounce uh, Strike King tungsten weight on there. And we're just going to try to see if we catch something on that first. Kind of tread lightly before we walk up to the bank. I want to see if I can catch anything that might be living in front of the bank. Wow, that's deep right there. No. Okay. Let's try again out front. Oh! One had it. I needed to let him have it longer. Got hammered. This is bit. That's bit. Just didn't get the hook in him. Got him. Got him that time. Hey, buddy. You're the one that got me the first time, aren't you? Hey, dude. The little guy fell to the trench hog. Sweet. Not a big fish, but we're off to a decent start. Go. Let's go. All right, little dude. Here you go. There's got to be a big one in here. All right, we got the spinner bait on. Now we're going to throw a couple spots where we've already thrown. 
A mosquito flying into my eye. Oh, what was that? Just love the efficiency of a moving bait. I, I could cover so much more water. So much quicker, man. fish there it is there's a nice bass on the trench hog that took a while but I got one sweet 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 decent bass on the trench hog covered in grass that is where they're living in here awesome dude wow that hook wasn't even in just fell out ah, yes I'm recording Woo. All right, let's let this guy back. In case I'm on camera, I want the owner of this place to see that I am letting these fish go quickly, taking good care of them. Here you go, buddy. Down back into the grass, where will he go? All right, guys, this is where I'm gonna end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. In today's video, we caught we caught some northerns. We caught some largemouth. I had a bunch of fun fish in there. I had to go back a second night. I love finding new ponds like this. Fishing brand new ponds, don't know what you're gonna get. Just start hucking and chucking and just make it happen, man. God, fishing's just so dang fun. I can't get enough of it, and I'm super thankful that you guys watch my videos and allow me to do this. But for those of you who stuck around at the end of this video, you guys are my diehard outdoor dude viewers. I need you guys to do me a favor and hit that like button. We're gonna be talking about some things coming up in the channel very shortly. YouTube has it out for the outdoor community, I think. And uh, we're gonna have to work real hard together to keep that afloat. And for now, you can hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, let the algorithm know that we do still like the outdoor community material. I'm gonna step down off the soapbox for a minute. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thank you guys so much for those of you who keep watching the video, keep religiously coming back. I really do appreciate you guys. More videos coming up shortly. I got big plans for the channel. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. Click that notification bell. Let YouTube know that you really do like these videos. Check the playlist of videos I got set up for you guys right here or check out one of these two videos and I'll see you guys over there. Bam.